Welcome to the Wednesday, September 26, 2012 edition of Ernerberry's Daily Video, sponsored today by Moark Eggs. In today's video, we analyze the latest whole turkey cold storage figures, and later a look at dwindling domestic catfish demand. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency has completed its investigation into the cause of the ground beef recall that affected over 250 products. According to the investigation, a combination of several deficiencies among safety controls at the XL Foods facility in Edmonton, Alberta, contributed to the recall, including issues with improper detection and control measures. The agency did note that, on their own, each of the findings would not typically signal an immediate concern, but has ordered XL Foods to develop a proper response plan. As of September 24th, Canada's Food Inspection Agency has issued seven alerts identifying products that were affected by this recall and continues to collect information from suppliers, distributors and retailers. For more on Canada's investigation into XL Foods beef recall and for other news in the food service industry, head over to foodmarket.com. Now here's poultry market reporter James Serpico discussing the latest whole turkey cold storage figures as the market heads into the Thanksgiving holiday. Each month when the third week or so rolls around, one can be assured that there will be a new USDA monthly cold storage report to discuss and dissect. The latest installment, released last Friday, is no exception. With Thanksgiving around the corner and whole bird markets on the mind, industry observers quickly honed in on whole body turkey stocks. According to the report, whole body turkey holdings were up a total of 35 million pounds, or about 12% from last year. Broken down by gender, tom holdings represent an upswing of 10%, while hens are up 14%. To some, the increase was expected, as it's pretty much in keeping with the advance in total holdings that's been part of 2012 since day one. Additionally, current market conditions are reflective of a stronger overall tom situation, one that can be justified by a lower percentage increase in tom stocks than for hens. When toms, toms and hens are combined, however, the fact that freezer stocks are ranked second only to 2009 in terms of total tonnage will get one's attention. For instance, in the record-breaking years of 2010 and 2011, freezer stocks were sitting at 300 million pounds and 292 million pounds respectively. So as Thanksgiving makes its approach, not only will market prices guide trade sentiment, but what's in store with whole birds will no doubt play a leading role. Thanks, James. To wrap up today's video, Seafood.com news writer Michael Ramsing explains how dwindling domestic catfish demand appears to be impacting the market. Winning demand for domestic catfish has caused wholesale and pond bank prices to plummet in 2012. According to the USDA September 2012 Catfish Processing Report, inventories of total fresh and frozen processed catfish was 9.8 million pounds, up 51% versus the same time a year ago when inventories totaled 6.5 million pounds. The rise in inventory is accompanied by a 19% decline in catfish processed in August to 24.9 million pounds around weight. This has industry insiders crediting the boom in inventories to a lack of demand for the product and prices have fallen as a result. For example, according to Erner Berry's monthly quotations for 5 to 7 ounce fresh and frozen domestic catfish fillets, prices in September were reported at $3.55 and $3.30 per pound respectively. Fresh prices declined 19% since the start of 2012 and are at their lowest level since January 2012. Meanwhile, frozen prices are down 17.5% from the start of the year and are also at their lowest level since January 2011. Meanwhile, pond bank prices have continued to plummet. According to the USDA, the average price paid to producers was 79.8 cents per pound in August, down 4.5 cents from a month earlier and 47.9 cents below a year ago. For a complete look at the state of the domestic catfish market, head over to Comfell and click Import Export under the Seafood tab to check out Erner Berry's newly revamped Aquaculture Insiders Report due out this week. Thanks, Michael. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Moark Eggs. For more than 50 years, Moark has grown their business with a commitment to adding real value to their products and services, providing old-fashioned customer service that is tested and proven to meet your needs. Visit them online at www.moarkllc.com or give them a call at 866-757-EGGS.